my name is Eslyn and thanks for tuning into my channel. Um, if you haven't checked out my other videos, please do so. Um, I have another DPO video from when I was pregnant last time. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And also don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. But um, yeah, I'm here at home. I'm quarantined. I literally just washed my hair and I'm just kind of like letting it air dry. So it's a little messy. Um, and I'm bored. I did my makeup and um, I mean, I'm not quarantined, but you know, we, we I do live in New Jersey. So we are following the stay at home um, rule. So I'm just kind of bored. I've watched every movie that's on Netflix, on demand, and um, but I've been staying home. So anyways, so I wanted to talk to you guys today about, um, I wrote some notes down on some symptoms that I've been feeling the last few days. Um, I recently ovulated, so I'm in that fun two week wait that we all love. And um, you know, we aren't actively trying, but um, I am right now in the two week wait and there is a possible there's a chance that I could be pregnant or maybe not so we shall see um, anyways so on March 18th and 19th is when I started experiencing watery uh, cervical mucus and so I realized my body was preparing to ovulate um, my body was preparing to release an, uh, an egg so that was the 18th and the 19th then on Mar March 21st I got egg white uh, cervical mucus and it was a lot it was it was definitely a lot it, it like sorry this is TMI I think anything with cervical mucus is super TMI but I'm gonna share with you guys anyways um, it ran down my leg and I was like, whoa, I'm like, I'm definitely ovulating. Um, on the 23rd, I started to experience like a lot of pulling and I was like, okay, I'm most definitely going to ovulate today. Uh, we'll, we'll see. So I was getting a lot of pulling on the 23rd. On the 24th, the pulling stopped and my um, cervical mucus was more creamy and I realized that I basically had ovulated. Um, I didn't know for sure because this time around I, I didn't do any um, temping or charting or anything. That's the most, that is the accurate, um, that's the most accurate way you can know if you actually have ovulated. Um, but I'm 90% sure with my symptoms um, that I know when I ovulated, which would have been the 23rd. Um, so, and then the next day was when my cervical mucus changed. It went from egg white to uh, creamy. Um, so then I'm going to go to 2DPO after I ovulated. So two days past, um, past ovulation, I started experiencing sensitive nipples. So... I confirmed that basically I did ovulate because that's that is the first sign for me that when I ovulate that's the first besides the cervical mucus like that's the first sign that I get um, so I, ex I was experiencing sensitive my nipples were sensitive 3 DPO same thing my nipples were sensitive as well um, and then as the days go on it just gets more gradual and, and um, you know more full and swollen so we can assume that all the days I had the uh, sensitive nipples um, so for DPO I started getting vivid dreams which is very common because your progesterone is starting to go up and um, so I had vivid dreams for DPO 5 DPO I also had some crazy really crazy dreams um, but I was also super frustrated like any little thing was like setting me off um, you know I kept giving my boyfriend like so much attitude over you know this whatever um 60 po i i was really thirsty then which was yesterday um i was very thirsty and uh same thing i didn't really 
I didn't feel like anything, like I just felt normal. I was just really thirsty, but I was very, very, very cranky and like just easily frustrated and, and you know, anything would set me off. Um, today, I kind of feel normal. I don't really feel much today. Um, besides, I don't, yeah, I didn't have a dream or anything last night because the dreams have been like back to back, like crazy. Um, but my, my boobs do feel more full. So yeah, so today I would be um, seven days past ovulation. So at this point was would be if I, if my egg was fertilized, now would be the time that I would probably start feeling mo more of my symptoms. Um, I feel pretty normal. Um, you know, not much, I, don't, I feel like not much is going on today. Um, I've been really tired lately. That is definitely something that um, that sticks out because it's not like I've been overworking or anything like that. Like, I, but I have been really tired. I mean, maybe because I've been home more. Being at home makes me more lazy and 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 that kind of stuff. But um, so I don't know. I'm kind of just like feeling it out, seeing how I feel the next few days. Um, there's a chance I could be pregnant. There's a chance maybe not. But we will see. Um, I am seven days past ovulation, and like I said, I've been like my um, my hormones have just been like making me really, really mean, <laughs> and like, and I feel so bad for my boyfriend because the next day I always apologize to him, but um, I just I, I just don't have the patience. I, so anything, I'm just like, ugh, like you're just you know you're annoying or whatever the case is, um, and it'll be like the dumbest thing. Um, but yeah and, and like i said yesterday i was really thirsty that's not normal for me um and um yeah so i, I guess it's kind of like just similar uh you know post ovulation symptoms that i've been experiencing nothing too crazy i do know that i definitely ovulated um so we shall see so the next few days should be the more telling signs if i am or if i'm not who's to say but it is a two-week wait so it's just kind of like there's nothing there's no way to go around it. you just kind of have to wait it out um, but you know I'm I will be I can't say I would be surprised but at the same time um, like I said we're not t we're not really actively trying um, so it is what it is you know um, but yeah so we'll see today I don't really feel any pulling because Usually I'll, I'll feel pulling or something. I don't feel anything today. Um, and yesterday I didn't feel anything like that either. But uh, right now I should be, my if my egg is fertilized, it should be going down my uterus and implanting within the next day or two. Um, and if that happens, then I'll feel it. Um, if not, then I'll just be expecting my period, um, you know, when that comes. But I will keep you guys posted. Um, I'm just home. I hope you guys are safe and you know home as well. And hopefully this whole COVID-19 thing passes. Um, but I will keep you up to date with you know my, my symptoms. If I get any more symptoms, I'll um, I'll post another video. Um, I'm planning to take a pregnancy test just because um, whether I have symptoms or not. But obviously to know. Um, when that time comes so I'll post another video after my 7 DPO today's 7 DPO so from 7 the rest of 7 to um, you know 14 or until I take a pregnancy test um, so we'll see so guys uh, just stay tuned this is a part one of um, days past ovulation my two-week wait and I'm so happy you guys joined and I hope to see you in my next video Bye.